As services become more varied and people seek greater convenience, modern social infrastructures are becoming increasingly electronically based and are constantly evolving. But even as you enjoy greater convenience in everyday living, you will have experienced inexplicable problems with your electronic devices, right? A growing number of such problems are actually caused by cosmic phenomena. When cosmic rays, which fly around in outer space, collide with oxygen or nitrogen nuclei in the atmosphere, various particles are generated. Among these particles, neutrons have particularly strong penetrating power, and they can pass through buildings. When a neutron collides with a semiconductor in an electronic device, the impact can temporarily reverse one or more bits stored in the semiconductor, causing a malfunction. This is called a soft error. Recent progress in integration and microfabrication technologies has allowed semiconductors to achieve a high level of performance. This has also increased the rate of occurrence of soft error incidents. Today, high-performance semiconductors are used in great numbers in a wide range of fields, from telecommunications networks and other social infrastructures to production systems. With the rapid development of AI and the Internet of Things, which connects all things over networks, the role played by semiconductors will continue to grow. However, currently there are no effective measures to prevent occurrence of soft errors. It is difficult to identify the causes of these errors because malfunctions disappear when the device concerned is rebooted or because the detected malfunction cannot be reproduced during examination. These keep system administrators constantly on edge. Let's look at the impacts of soft errors, taking a telecommunications network as an example. When a failure occurs due to a soft error, the affected communication route is switched over automatically, allowing ongoing service to continue. The monitoring center is notified of the failure, and the faulty device is shipped back to the vendor. The vendor examines the device and tries to reproduce the malfunction, but fails to do so because the device is not broken. Unnecessary costs are incurred for device examination and replacement. On rare occasions, a soft error-induced malfunction is not detected. This is a much more serious situation because the affected communication route may not be switched over. In such a case, it is difficult to identify the fault location and it can take a long time to restore normal operation, which would obviously have an adverse impact on the services being provided. Some estimate that dozens of soft errors occur daily in a network made up of several thousands of communication devices that use the latest semiconductors. Hence, there is an urgent need to establish reproducing technology for soft errors. To meet this need, in 2013, NTT Laboratories collaborated with Hokkaido University to develop a testing technology that reproduces soft errors using a compact accelerator. In order to make it possible to utilize the technology in actual services, we have successfully conducted a feasibility test for using this kind of compact accelerator, one that ordinary enterprises can own. A commercial service has actually been started. This compact accelerator has made it possible to predict within a short period the rate of occurrence of soft error incidences in the development and verification stages for electronic devices. Because the accelerator can produce neutron irradiation 100 million times more than the natural world. In addition, assuming that soft errors do occur, it has become possible to verify the effectiveness of error detection technologies and the effects of measures against soft errors. 
By making it possible to develop and operate highly reliable electronic devices, this technology will contribute to realizing a safer and more secure society.